Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to the band McFly. I have heard them before. I distinctly remember listening to a lot of their music in the early 2000s, but as with all artists, I imagine they have grown and changed over the years. So today, we are listening to the song Honey, I'm Home, and this is from their newest album, Power to Play. Here we go. I don't know where I belong Or where I've been coming from Anytime I see your face I find my way I know my place That's when I say taken aback this is not the 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 same sort of pop group i remembered from my youth what a soulful voice um one of our patrons actually recommended this song to me i need to look up names okay so danny is on lead vocals and then the harmonies just then were provided by tom oh, we're going back you know the drill um what? He did so many, so many very impressive things, but there was one moment where he had an ascending line that I thought he was going to flip um, into a different mix and he kept it just so seamlessly right where it was. Here we go. I don't know where I belong. So right off the bat, we get a little bit of texture with that fry at the at the very beginning onset, um, and it's got a little bit of that sort of alternative pop sound. So again, I wasn't expecting it to blossom into such a soulful piece. Oh, where I've been coming from. That ooh, I also love that on from where he really relaxed and let some air through so that it didn't have that really present sound. It had this hollowness, this breathiness to it. Let me play that again. Where I belong Oh, where I've been coming from Anytime I see your face I find my way I know my place That's when I that. Oh my. Place. Ugh, what an unfortunate vowel <laughs> sometimes. When you have... We've talked about vowel modifi modification before. Certain frequencies prefer certain vowels. They're just so much easier to sing in certain places in your range. Place. To, to maintain the control he has on in this ascending line and to not really modify that vowel too much um he's keeping it in a slightly more covered place a more chest dominant mix um which is what surprised me i thought he was gonna flip over into a more head dominant mix i mean it was just so smooth and i love the way he slid through it so that um whenever you're sliding and you've got these ascending lines, it's really a smart technique um, for keeping notes where you want them because you are physically, you know, stretching very slowly um, those laryngeal muscles as opposed to um, doing it more abrasively, I guess. Anytime I see your face 
But I do want to say I love the the roundness of both the vowels and the tone. You can really hear that open pharyngeal space. He's got some incredible nasal resonance happening, but it doesn't sound super forward. It doesn't sound super bright or nasally because he's got all of that extra space happening in his oral cavity. Just it's gorgeous. I could sail the universe Reach the end of the universe It doesn't matter where I roam Or how far I go My mind is blown That's why and thoughts I saw them first um, thanks to the movie just my luck and I growing up I well still to this day I love those chick flicks I love just these cute rom-coms and all of that um and they were a very unique um, addition to what we were you know the boy band scene at the time um, I love this song so much. I love, it's like the perfect combination of, it's got an essence, an essence of years past, an essence of that boy band era, but it's so minute. So it's, you know, it's fulfilling in that sense, but it's so different as well. It's very, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It, obviously, it's more mature. They have more experience, more life experience. Their vocals, their styling, everything has changed. Um, but it still has just like a little sprinkle of what used to be. And I think that is just so fulfilling for a lot of people who really enjoyed music from that era. Um, I don't know. Sidebar. Their wardrobe for this, I don't know if it's intentional, if this is like a standard look for them, but it's got like a nice sort of 50s retro vibe, um, but again, modernized. So it's just, it's really cool to see. Uh, I don't know if that's their everyday look or what. Um, and then this new section, uh, hold on, let me, uh, I don't know how far back we're gonna go. Let's try this. No, before that. I liked that switch because this seems, the song itself was, 
I would almost classify that we're getting two different musical genres. Um, it was a little more alternative indie slash rock at the beginning, but then it really amped up into something that was more in pop, I guess. Uh, so it just, yeah, the, the two different styles, musical styles, genres that we're getting was kind of a surprise, but I love the transition that got us there. Right there, like he, he took away some of the, um, Maybe we'll say some of that richness in his voice. So it gave us a slightly more youthful tone um, that felt more appropriate for something that was like in a pop or alt pop genre. harmonies let me one I'll tell you now I'll never fly so sad I haven't been listening to these guys the past 15 years I'm gonna have to go through their catalog and see what they did like to get from what I remember to where they are now incredible I love and I've said it before I just love seeing the development um, that artists and bands go through um, throughout their careers and the changes they make and whether you know whether it's a completely different persona or if you know you can still identify parts of them that you recognize from when they first were discovered all those things um that guitar line at the end I really I really like how they incorporated that as well there's just a lot um I was thinking especially toward the end musically it got it kind of it's just, this is just a beautiful example of how even just one vocal line can completely transform a song. I think if you were to go back and listen to this and sort of eliminate the vocals or replace them with something that maybe was lighter or even something a little brighter, the whole mood of this song would feel completely different. But because that that vocal line had so much warmth and power and um, color in it. It just created this very cool, very cool piece. 
That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.